through a collaboration between the Sheriff's Aviation Division and Mosquito Vector Control Program, San Bernardino County has implemented a state-of-the-art program using aerial surveillance to minimize mosquito breeding sources and reduce public health risks. West Nile virus it worked its way across the country, so when 2004 came, it hit very hard. Governor Schwarzenegger allocated some funds for West Nile virus surveillance and equipment and pesticides and whatever is needed. We were able to use that money to put it towards some fixed wing aerial surveillance. And even when we did that, it didn't work out very well because with the technology at that time, from the time we got the data from the aerial surveillance company to the time we were able to get out and start checking those pools, it was just way too much time. After the second year of that type of grant funding, that wasn't available any longer. That's about when Mitch and I first spoke and we talked about, well, can we send a technician up in your helicopter? And uh, we tried various methods with both um, just photographs and with video cameras. And it was, again, very difficult to associate those pools with the, the streets and determine exactly where those were. Like most um, you know, government agencies, we're on one fixed budgets and um, we could not afford to, to see these green pools if uh, the Sheriff's Department wasn't helping us. The way that we used to find out about them before is, well, there's a vacant house and the next door neighbor might complain because he's getting bitten by mosquitoes. and. So we start looking at the sources in the neighborhood that we don't know about. We had recently purchased new helicopters that came with new, with new mapping computers and new uh, parcel information in these computers. So it went from one day of taking pictures, um, just flying around looking for a green pool, um, to this co-op that currently exists, which is using the actual uh, proactive time that we do in patrol and going to and from calls, which we would already, already be up for, to uh, actually identifying as we fly over certain parcels. With the fact that green pools are in people's backyards and, and we can't see them, um, along with the fact that um, a lot of residents uh, don't understand the risk, that the only way we will we'll, we'll find these is if, if we get referral uh, complaints from the Sheriff's Department. Just one poorly maintained 15 by 30 foot pool has the potential to produce more than 2 million mosquitoes per week. It's estimated that this collaborative program potentially prevented the production of 990 million mosquitoes per week, greatly reducing the potential for West Nile virus. This program has allowed us to find pools that we wouldn't normally find because people haven't complained. And one of our large problems are these pools that are purchased inexpensively that you blow up the ring and you, and you have an instant pool. They are great for the kids for the weekend, but they are neglected very frequently because people aren't used to having a pool and they don't put the chemicals in it and we get a lot of breeding from these pools. And since they're so portable, you never know where they're gonna be. And the helicopter flies over and it stands out with a nice green circle in the backyard and they can instantly see it's a pool and tell us about it. We would never know about it any other way. It's a matter of putting the cursor of the map over that property it highlights the property and then lists the, uh, the, the actual address and with some certainty the actual property owner. And then uh, on a weekly, monthly, couple month basis, we would send then Vector Control uh, a list of all the addresses that, that we had concerns about. With Mitch getting this new technology and everything, it just became uh, a much more efficient way to where they weren't making a special trip for us, they were just doing it on their uh, on their routine surveillance and then everything that he provides to the vector control program they can respond very quickly and get a public service employee out there to go ahead and take care of it. If the green pool is there, if there's still uh, water in the pool, that they'll treat it with the pesticide so uh, mosquito breeding is not a risk. In the past we would have to go up specifically for that and now we can actually benefit off of technology and that we're already up in the air doing stuff and we can, it takes a matter of seconds to, to queue on a property, get the information, the actual address and then go from there. The typical situation is uh, someone's home is going to be foreclosed on and they're still living there and they don't want to pay to maintain the pool. And the foreclosure process taking several months, um, that, that pool will be green while they're going through that process. It, it can be anywhere from, from two to six months that you have a green pool. We fly proactively, that's when we would be looking for for anything suspicious on the ground, as well as scanning all of our law enforcement radios to see who we can help with. We're not dedicating a time to go look for that. It's just an extra part of our, of our daily routine. Without the advantage of being able to have the Sheriff's Department see them from the air, 
you can't see them from the street while you're driving through the neighborhood or even doing a door-to-door -door survey. You know, a lot of people aren't home and the uh, intensive manpower that that would take is incredible. In 2012, uh, we addressed um, about 300 green pools that, that were referred from the Sheriff's Department. In total, we got about 500 green pool complaints. So more than half of our, our green pool complaints actually come from the Sheriff's Department. Without their, their help, uh, we wouldn't really have the ability to find these, these pools. There are no taxpayer monies going to this program. This is, this is done basically as a co-op during our normal business. The collaboration that we have had has really benefited Vector Controls so much. And uh, um, every year we actually end up with 100% uh, with compliance.